Let's speak some facts. It sucks to be a dude in the dating market in 2022. Every girl thinks they deserve the top tier, six foot, you know, handsome, rich man now. What is going on? Bro, is that a new channel intro that just dropped right? You should have dropped it like that? Yeah. There that was a new channel intro. I actually spent like solid 10, 12 hours putting that together this week and editing it up. Yeah, you like it? Do I like it, bro? It's got to be the best one that's been on the channel ever. What, what's going on here, man? You got all this crazy lights going on? This is cool. Yeah, it's a new, it's a little new little lighting setup, man. You know, just trying, trying to do something a little special, level things up. And this, what's this guy doing here? It's like a brand of blue light? What? Yeah, man, it's for, it's for like ambient lighting, ambient lighting. I don't know how to say the word. You know what I mean? It's important. It's ambient, bro. Like I was saying, what is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. Let's speak some facts. It sucks to be a dude in the dating market in 2022. Like over the last half a decade or decade, there's just been some negative trends, let's call them, that have made it very difficult for men. And I think there's three key factors that have led us here that are super important to understand. And then after that, we'll talk about how you can actually use this to your advantage as a man and kind of dominate this new dating landscape. So the first factor is the prevalence of social media. When you look at someone's Instagram account, what do you see? You see the best possible version of that person that they can portray. You only post your photos where you look as attractive as possible, doing the coolest things possible. And this makes us all start to look at ourselves as our Instagram persona. Like we all think, you know, we're the super cool person. And the truth is that girls are a lot more likely than guys to be praised and you know get comments and DMs and followers because of their looks. You have a lot of girls who, you know, maybe objectively are more on the average side of looks, but but they truly now believe that they're top tier. And now because of that, every girl thinks they deserve the top tier 6 foot, you know, handsome rich man now. Now to be fair, this is also negatively affecting men in our mindsets because we're so used to seeing the hottest girls that, that we have subconsciously higher standards. And even if you're not actively posting on Instagram, you're more likely now to be comparing yourself to, to other guys and feeling insecure because of it. Factor number two is dating apps. You got Hinge, Bumble, Tinder, Facebook dating. There's probably YouTube dating for all I know, bro. And what this does is it gives us all the the illusion of choice not even an illusion right we all have a hundred times more opportunities at any given moment you know i could open up bumble now and within 30 minutes i, I could have taken my shot at like a hundred girls and this makes us all men and women less likely to want to invest very much into meeting up with someone because I, you know, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like that person that much. And I can just open up my phone and meet a bunch of other people here. But again, because men have to be the pursuers, it's a very common scenario that you could have a date scheduled with a girl and then she just is swiping on her apps and she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna flake on this guy or ghost him because I got a match with somebody better. And if I'm being honest, I've probably done that to, to girls too. And number three, everybody is soft and feels entitled to be respected by everyone. We got this crazy wokeness going on and don't get me wrong there's a there's a lot of value to bringing attention to different inequalities and issues but but there's this kind of underlying tone wherever you go that you know everyone should always be happy at all times and and you don't want to do anything that could cause someone to not be happy and everyone's just a little bit softer right and i see this negatively affecting men in dating in two ways one is that I, I hear guys a lot say like i just don't know if i should like approach that girl in this scenario because what if like what if she takes it the wrong way and she doesn't like it and then i like i just don't know that seems scary now but also if you get rejected by a girl you really like that can hurt your feelings you know i've definitely been there before and then you know that's just another reason that as a man you might just completely take yourself out of the dating game because you don't want to get your feelings hurt anymore I, I hate to keep interrupting you like this but i was like trying to stream my movies and stuff and then it's not working anymore oh so that was you who put your streaming services on my credit card oh that was that was your card inside of your wallet? That was mine? Yeah, inside of my wallet, my card. Thankfully, I got Truebill on my phone, man. Truebill? Yeah, man, that's how I manage all my finances and can catch people like you, apparently. And luckily for you, you can find out a little bit more about them because they are the sponsor of today's video. So check it out. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that's gonna help you save more 
and spend less. I've used it myself and it's extremely powerful. It automatically recognizes recurring charges so you can cancel unwanted subscriptions with a single tap. It will even negotiate your bills for you so you can lower everything from your internet service bill all the way to your credit card bill. It's super easy to set up budgets that will automatically monitor your spending by category, give you notifications when you've exceeded them, and even visualize your spend to earn ratio by month, quarter, or year. And not only does it monitor your credit score, but it actually gives you key insights on ways you can improve your score. Plus, it makes it easy to set up a smart savings account. All you have to do is choose the amount and the frequency, and Truebill will automatically make the contributions for you. And because Truebill is sponsoring today's video, you know that they're hooking it up. If you go to truebill.com slash beast, or click the first link in description, you can try it out completely free. Like, what are you waiting for? Now is the time to save more money and level up your personal finances. Check it out. All right, so what does all this mean? Well, it means that each interaction with a new girl is less likely to move forward now more than ever because you know maybe she gets a good Tinder match after you talk to her. Maybe some dude DMs her on Instagram. Maybe you're too afraid to get your feelings hurt so you don't even ask her out. Maybe she's up on her high horse and she rejects you. So what the fuck do you do? What are, what are us men supposed to do in 2022? Well, the way I see it, you got three options. Option one is the good old mid path, as men going their own way. You basically decide that, you know what? This mess of dating is not worth my time, my anxiety, and I'm just gonna make the choice to focus on other parts of my life and not pursue women. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but that is not the decision that I personally would ever make because I think there's a lot of value in female companionship. You know, not just in the bedroom, uh, but, but in all the other experiences that can come with that. And I just wouldn't wanna shut the door on that completely. Now, an alternative option is not to completely close the door, but to just basically be like, I'm not gonna approach women, you know, I'm gonna let them come and fall in my lap. And that can work if you're a guy who has a lot of status. That's the only time that I've seen, you know, attractive women just fall into a guy's lap. But even in that case, if you are a guy with a lot of status and you just started to, uh, to actually pursue girls that you liked, it would immediately open up your pool from just a few girls to, to a huge amount. Option numero dos. You follow your basic primal you know, instincts and insecurities and you just latch on. You, you latch on to, to any girl that seems like a remote option. This is the strategy that I followed for years. And... Uh, it just, it doesn't work, bro, because you start to get really excited that this girl, you know, in, in your class or at the gym or this girl you matched with, she's going to be your next girlfriend. She's perfect. She's awesome. And then you, you start to invest all this time into to, to, to texting her, to thinking about her. And then, you know, kind of like we explored, it's just, it's just not likely to work out. And then you get heartbroken, depressed. Maybe back in the 1950s, when your grandparents were on a horse and buggy, that, that approach worked, but not... Not in 2022. Option three is that you use all of this information to your advantage. And the way you do that is by developing a system that allows you to quickly funnel through all of these girls who it's just not gonna work out with, so you can only you know focus your time on hanging out with the girls who actually wanna hang out with you. And the way you do this is pretty simple. You know, when you match with a girl on an app or you see a girl you wanna talk to at the gym or the grocery store or wherever, you just make the move as soon as possible. That means making the approach and talking for one or two minutes or you know, sending one or two messages back and forth on the app and then asking the girl, do you wanna hang out sometime this week? And yes, at this point, a lot of girls are gonna reject you or say they have a boyfriend, and that is a good thing. You just filtered out a bunch of girls who, who aren't gonna make it through the funnel. And once you get the contact info, you make fast moves again. After a couple texts back and forth, you ask, hey, do you wanna hang out later this week? Okay, cool. Does Wednesday or Thursday work for you? And boom, you set up the date. And yes, a lot of these girls will stop texting you back or they'll flake on the date, but that is a good thing because you just filtered out some more girls who, who aren't serious without having to waste two or three weeks texting them. But bro, you should text them for longer because that's going to build more comfort and they're going to be more likely to show up on the date. That, that's something I thought for a while, but that's just not how it works. Like the reason the girls are flaking are, are these societal pressures that, that we talked about earlier. It's not because she needs more comfort. There's just some girls who just aren't going to show up. And this should go without saying, but all this is going to be a lot easier for you if you level up your life hit the gym work on your style make more money and all of these you know instagram societal pressures are actually going to make girls more likely to, to be into you and once you have a girl who's actually hanging out with you keep it casual until proven otherwise you know don't get super excited oh this is the one this is going to be my next girlfriend let's plan that next vacation because again chances are you're going to get disappointed you're going to get let down 
Yeah, this girl, for one reason or another, is not gonna wanna hang out anymore, or, or you might even lose interest, bro. But if one month passes, two months passes, three months pass, and, and this still seems like this really awesome girl who you're seeing a couple times a week, well, guess what? You just filtered down to a small, rare piece of gold that's very hard to find, and you call that potentially girlfriend material. Now, I know that's not a very romantic thing, and for some people, that just might seem like dating's not worth it anymore. And I think that'd be, you know, a fair assessment to make. But at the end of the day, the most important thing to do, you know, with any situation is to always like accept reality and then adapt to it. Like that's all you can do, unless you just want to give up, you know, those are your choices. Anyway, I hope all that made sense. I hope you guys enjoyed this, this different style of video, very different from typical how to be. It's like almost the opposite. You know, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about this style of video and what you thought about the new intro. If you're someone who's working to level up your dating life and meet more girls, I do have a private coaching program, the Beast Dating Coaching Program. You know, we've helped hundreds of guys over the past couple years. Just between the amount of dates that I've been on in the past, like two months compared to the last like 10 years, it has, it's insanely different. Like I'm starting to meet more girls in per person. I've gotten a few numbers this week, just like walking around, going about my life downtown. You know, it, it really has changed my life. Link in description to learn more about that and apply now. And if you made it to the end of this video, smash the thumbs up button. Seriously, I appreciate y'all and I will talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.